Happy Thanksgiving! It is Tuesday. Fuck. <laughs> it's Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Today is the 22nd of November. And I just wanted to do a quick update with you. I actually brought the camera to a Italian market yesterday and I filmed it. I wanted to show you guys what an Italian market is. Um, in case you hadn't been there, Cookie, Cookie Lou, I know you've been to one and I, you would have loved it. Um, but the rest of you guys, I don't know if you guys have ever been to like a true Italian market. So I wanted to show you and bring you around. But there was so much background noise on the camera that when I loaded the videos onto my computer, you could like barely hear me. You would have had to have jacked up the volume on your computer so loud to have heard me speaking, you would have been like, what the fuck is this Janine? And just clicked it off. So I didn't even bother loading it. I was like, fuck this shit. So whatevs. Um, but it was neato. Anyway, so I did that yesterday. Um, I got like antipasto stuff. Um, antipasto is the first course of a meal to Italian people. Um, anti means before and pasto is the meal so it just means before the meal okay and what it usually is is um typically it's just various types of cold cuts different meats cheeses that kind of thing sometimes people put um you know uh some different sorts of vegetables or um fruits stuff like that um, it's neat. It's, it's neato. If you guys are friends with me on Facebook, I'm, you know, I'm sure you've seen my pictures from last year. Um, you'll see them again this year. I try to make it as pretty as I can. Um, it's pretty. And, um, it's, the point is just to sit there, break bread with your family, and shovel food in your face, and just talk. Just bond, spend time with each other, with yummy food. That's it. Um, the sorts of stuff that I got, oh my God. I got um, different sorts of olives, brined olives. Um, I got the jumbo black olives too because I know if, I, you know, when you were a kid, I still even do it. When you were a kid, the jumbo black olives pitted and you stick them on your fingers and, you know, play with them. I still even do it. Um, it's just fun. Um, I got uh, marinated mushrooms, um, campanata, which is a mush of eggplant stuff, um, cold cuts I got, supersad, um, I got uh, capicola, um, prosciutto di parma, um, a bunch of stuff. Cheeses, I got uh, Asiago, uh, Provolone, of course, Fantina. You just get like, you know, the sorts of cheeses that you're gonna like. And you just lay them down as pretty as you can on a plate or a couple plates, depending upon how many people you're feeding, and get some bread, some Italian bread of your choice. I always like semolina, and that's it, you're done. Have a sit down, start shoveling. It's delightful. Anyway, I did that yesterday, and that's sitting in the fridge. I've got Tom the turkey. I picked up Tom yesterday at the butcher. Um, I think he's 14 pounds, not sure. And um, he's beautiful. He's brining. I got a recipe off foodnetwork.com. Uh, I love that app. That's a great app. If you download that app, it's wonderful. Um, stuffed with recipes and uh, I got an app from Alex it's the girl Alex she always she's a very nice lady but she she just has one of those faces where she looks cranky <laughs> she has dark hair um, and she has a lot of restaurants Alex something or other it starts with a G I can't pronounce her last name um, but anyway, I, I tried her brine this year, and it has um, 
molasses, honey, uh, some red pepper flakes in it. I don't know, it sounded delicious, so I gave that a go. And um, so we'll try that and see how that goes. So he's sitting in it now in the fridge outside. And right now I am working on making meatballs. I'm gonna make a pot of sauce today and put together lasagna. Um, I gotta do the pork skin bajol after I do the meatballs and, uh, and put together the pot of sauce. I already made chicken stock. Uh, the chicken stock is sitting in the fridge so that I could solidify the layer of fat on top and then pull the fat off once it's solidified. And then I'm good. Um, after that, I just gotta throw the pot of sauce in the fridge um, when it cools down. And uh, I gotta roast some sweet potatoes. Um, and tomorrow, I gotta do pies. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be dessert day. Because if I do desserts sooner than at the last, they'll be gone. So um, tomorrow's gonna be dessert day. And I should be okay. I should be okay for Thanksgiving. It's only gonna be the four of us. But um, Thanksgiving is my second favorite holiday. Fourth of July is my first. And uh, it's gonna be amazing, because I love it. So we'll see. I hope your Thanksgiving is absolutely amazing. Um, I hope it's amazing. Um, I wanted to, really quick, um, I saw a video from someone in our weight loss community. Um, and uh, she does videos pretty frequently. Um, and uh, she's having a hard time right now. A lot of it has to do with seasonal depression. And I get that too. My seasonal depression kicks in usually on December 1st, actually. Um, my seasonal depression kicks in right at winter. I'm a summer baby. So as soon as winter starts to kick in, I go right downhill. And um, that's no bueno for me. I can't stand winter. Um, so she's having a rough time. And uh, also, um, you know, she's having a hard time being introverted. Uh, she feels pretty introverted right now, and um, you know she's having a hard time uh, socializing a little more frequently. Um, she feels that socializing a little more fre frequently might help her out uh, with the depression, um, and she's struggling. You know, she's struggling. I. It kills me inside to see any of us in the weight loss. It kills me inside to see anybody struggle. You know, it kills me. Um, because I've been there. I've been there a lot. Heavy duty, heavy duty, you know? And by the grace of God, I bounced from it. I really did. And um, I did because I bounced from the massive struggle that introversion and depression throws on you because, number one, I lost a lot of weight and that made it easy for me. That made it easy for me. It did. That was my green card. I own that. I own that. Hell yeah. That made it easy for me. That was my green pass. Yep, that made it easy for me. But I learned, I learned that everything I wanted was on the opposite side of fear. Everything. I was scared to socialize. But I learned that Though I was scared to socialize, pushing myself to socialize, even though I was scared of it, was going to make me social. That being introverted was not what I wanted to be. 
I wanted to be social. I wanted to be not heavy duty extroverted, but I wanted to be more happy, more out there. And I had to push myself. And that's what always pushes me to tell you guys to fake it till you make it. Because what's on your wish list is what's on the opposite side of fear. You gotta push it. You really gotta push it. I can't stand that she's unhappy because I love the wench. I love her. I do. I'm not gonna name her name out loud because I'm not gonna use her as a specimen. Um, but she's too wonderful to ignore. And I want her better in any way possible. And there's got to be a way that even though you know, she's not 20 years old and in a uh, college environment, meaning like on a um, campus with shitloads of people around her that she could just, you know, join a club of something and do shitloads of socializing. Um, there's got to be a way that she could find some sort of group that she could possibly do some socialization in where she could dabble in a bit of extroversion and start because I want her happy because I love her. That's it. And if you guys are going through the same thing, I know we're going into seasonal depression time, be it the beginning of winter starting soon, cold weather, etc. Um, I want you guys to start looking into ways to avoid it because it's hard. Especially if you are morbidly obese, perhaps super, super morbidly obese. Once you are obese of any sort, you are way more prone to suffering. Way more prone. I promise I know I've been there. I was there for so long, it was insane. So I just want you guys happy. That's all I care about. That's all I care about. I love you guys so much. You know I do. I hope your Thanksgiving is amazing. I get my Joey this weekend. My Giuseppe. I get him this weekend. I am so excited. Um, if you are friends with me on Facebook, expect a bazillion puppy pictures from me. And uh, yeah. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.